All right, folks, Stephen Mark Tobin at Sports Music Cars, and what we're talking about in the podcast today, thousands of Nissan cars have been recalled after exploding airbags allegedly resulted in 30 deaths, right? Safety authorities have issued an urgent do not drive warning for certain Nissan models during the risk of serious injury or even death. Now, what's weird about this is it says the company's warning owners around 84,000 older vehicles fitted with dangerous Takata airbags which can explode and hurl sharp metal fragments at motorists. The car is still the driver of one of these vehicles from model years 2002 to 2006, not driving to repair is completed and defective airbag is replaced. The warning covers certain model year 2002 to 2006 Nissan Sentra, 2004 to 2002 Nissan Pathfinders, and 2002 to 2004 Infinity QX4 vehicles. The original request of the one person Nissan 2006 was killed by an exploding front passenger and inflator. And of course, 58 other injuries have been injured since 2015. So this is more of the ongoing Takata airbag saga, right? Where they have these like a mini bullet that when the button is activated, when the seatbelt comes and then the bullet explodes and then the airbag comes out like more than 100 miles an hour and then the fragments um, from the exploding device can break free and then they hit people so it says due to the age of vehicles equipped with defective Takata airbag inflators there is an increased risk the inflator could explode during an airborne de deployment propelling sharp metal fragments which can cause serious injury or death so the sharp metal fragments we're talking about people is actually it's, it's sort of like a bullet i've seen the videos where it, and it's sort of like a bullet and they show it in slow motion and that explodes, and then that's what activates, and then, then the airbag comes out. So that's what even minor crashes can exploit, result in exploding airbags that can kill or produce life-threatening, altering, gruesome injuries. That's because it's a bullet, people. See, older implements put a higher risk. The age of the airbag is a contributing factor. The National Highway Transport Safe, Transportation Safety Administration, NHTSA, is urging all vehicle owners to immediately check to see if their vehicle has an open Takata airbag recall on their website. And you can see right here at nissan.com, Takata airbag recall. If it does, owners should contact their dealership and schedule a free repair as soon as they can and follow other warnings from the vehicle manufacturer. Nissan and Infinity are offering free towing, mobile repair, and in select locations, vehicles on loan, it's said. Any Nissan questions with concerns, visit Nissan's recall website. We do, in fact, have a Nissan vehicle, but it's a 2008. 12 infinity g37 and i do not believe it has ever been part of this recall or anything wrong with these Takata airbags so hopefully not but in 2020 nissan did recall about uh 730,000 vehicles i remember i was writing for a car company back then and we did talk about this and 84,000 vehicles remain still remain in use with the dangerous parts which means people haven't gotten their act together and actually gotten over there and gotten this done and this is a deployed Takata airbag of a 2007 Dodge Charger, right? Takata is now bankrupt. At least 400 people allegedly injured. 27 people have been killed by the fact that it was exploded. Takata is now bankrupt. More than 100 million products went into vehicles. A more, more than a dozen automobile vehicles have been recalled. At least 67 million airbag deflators. Inflators have been recalled in the U.S., making one of the largest safety callbacks in the history of the automotive industry. And there is Takata. And they are going ahead and they are bankrupt. So thanks for watching and who knows what happened today.